Hey, hey, VC Jeff here. So, yeah, I wanted to uh, jump on to this contest. It's actually going to be ending soon in about a week, so I wanted to get on board this. Um, I recently ran across it, and I kept thinking, yeah, I need to get on that. So, this is for uh, Grown Man Record Night. They are, they hit 600, and he's having a contest, and it, I, you know, the contest started a couple weeks ago, and, you know, now they're up into the 750s, so I guess it's, uh, it's working. It's working as far as drawing some new attention. Um, I've been subscribed for quite a while. I don't always watch every episode and do a lot of interacting. But basically, it's called Under the Covers, and it's about albums that you bought strictly based on the cover. So, uh, uh, some of these I have shown based on that blind buys. I've done videos on blind buys. So, if you've seen some of those videos, these are going to be from some of that because I do have some that fall into that category. Now, um, he wanted to disqualify anything. I bought a lot of blind buys based on, oh, so-and-so played on that album. You know, just a random so-and-so was involved. I did that in a recent video where I found all those 80s pop type things. I had no idea who the bands were, but I'm like, oh, you know, it had so-and-so's involvement. I'm going to check it out. You know, based on uh, some connection there of somebody that you recognize. I buy a lot of albums like that just because I figured, hey, you know, I know their name. They may not be the artist, but they may have done some guitar work or maybe they produced it. So a lot of albums that way, but these are going to be strictly ones that I had no clue about. Now, some of these you might say, how did you not know anything about that, Jeff? Are you stupid? Yes, I'm stupid because <laughs> there's a lot of bands and a lot of genres out there that I am totally clueless on and so that causes you to buy some things based just on looks let's jump right into this though so this is probably one of the earliest blind buys i ever did because when i got back into buying records again in 2017 i went to a record store and i was just buying things they didn't have a lot of big name things so i was just buying random things you know it was like four dollars you know so i picked up citizen kane Still don't know a ton about them. I don't think they really, if I recall, when I did look this up, that they didn't really have any other releases. But it was a four-song EP. You know, it kind of looks interesting. Hot-blooded rocker. Sounds like a hard rocker. And then when you open it up and you look at the back, you got the whole 70s, you know, rocking, grooving vibe. Um, so based solely upon how they looked, and you know the end it's nicely done and you know they look like southern rockers or some kind of rockers the long hair and everything based solely upon how they looked i took a chance and it turned to be really good stuff it, you know it is it doesn't even have a date on it but it seems like from everything i could find online it came out around 1980 70 something end of 70s early 80s so moving on rough diamond again this was in the uh, bargain bin they have a bin at one of the record stores where everything is like three dollars and less and so i grabbed this you know it's got a cut corner had no idea i the cover caught my attention it looked interesting and then the guys on the back you know they look like hey they probably got rocking their blood had no clue until later when i looked it up that there was a connection to uriah heap and all of that so that's the kind of stuff you stumble upon you know i didn't know that this was a one-off band that you know one of the you're right heap and some other band members later did and like i say i think it's only got one album turned out to be good just some really good classic you know rock sounds uh again i think this was in the uh late 70s 1977 ish a lot of times i base it on the dates too because i know that if anything's going to be in that time frame it's probably going to be in that genre depending on the way they look um this one i just i fell in love with the, the costume not the costumes the pants you know ron go dare go dirt go dare had no clue who he was bought it solely because they look like 70s rockers they got like the fancy satin looking clothes um long hair typical i mean just it just looked like it was you know a rocket thing it's on polydor and again a lot of times it's it's also based on the condition i'm like well this is a great album regardless of what it sounds like it's in perfect condition so i'm going to rescue it turned out to be a white label promo anyway um he was the singer in a band that was famous in the 70s so uh, some band i forget now but Turned out to be just, you know, solid 70s rock. The guy's got a great voice. The band has a great sound. And I've really enjoyed this. I've listened to this quite a few times. Um, you know, it's got, it's got some damage on stuff. But again, you're paying a couple dollars. You're taking a chance. 
This one, again, they look like rockers, had no idea who they were. I mean, I'm familiar with the Christian band Saint, have all their albums, but this was just a band, and I'm like, huh, they must have been just a, uh, you know, there's not much, not much to it. They just look like some good old boys that were, you know, had the long hair in that time frame where, you know, it looks like it's sort of, kind of, custom, not really a big label. I always love finding that kind of stuff, even if it's, you know, if it's self-released or independent labels of some all area, you know, 1984. I know that a band that looks like this in 1984 is probably going to have a decent sound. Um, I'm not expecting necessarily like the whole hair metal type feel of the 80s that people want to call it. But it, I was expecting, you know, they, they kind of reminded me of like Autograph or something like that, which would have been in that genre, you know, of 80s anthem type metal. Just a solid hard rocking outfit. I, again, I don't think they did anything else. Um, I don't think there's anything else with them on there after that. This one, again, bought strictly for the cover, Spiders from Mars. Yeah, I had no clue who they were. I'm not a big David Bowie fan, never had been. I mean, I enjoy his stuff, and if I find it in a while, I'll pick it up because I do enjoy some of his stuff. But growing up, was not a fan, did not realize that this was his band doing, you know, a branch off solo project. Great stuff, 70s stuff, has the vibe of what I would expect. The album was in just amazing condition, and, the, you know, the cool spider, the great condition. I'm like, all right, and again, it was in the bargain bin, so I grabbed it. Uh, again, I don't I believe they haven't they didn't do any other albums after that It seems like these are all one-offs this one. I bought not too terribly long ago um, heavy metal kids The name caught my attention First off heavy metal kids second off the album was in the early 70s, which was uh, 74 You know heavy metal wasn't a very common term They uh, they had the look I had no idea what they were about but they just looked cool. It was on a label that I'm looking at that has like the best of the Bee Gees. They got these things on here, the Rolling Stones, Rolling Stones on this side. So a lot of bigger name things. So I'm like, huh, okay, well, at Co Records. So they must have been something big enough to get on a, you know, fairly label, fairly large label there. But yeah, it was all about the look on that one. The cover is really kind of generic. So the name and the look, I jumped on it. And it was good. You know, it's good. Uh, 74 you know it's kind of got you know it's just kind of a classic rock feel with uh you know some weirdness and i don't want to say psych but i'm sure it may dip into that a little bit yeah so that's it uh just some fun stuff i showed six he wanted to see at least five three to five uh i grabbed six so um anyway that's it so check it out we have a link to the video to the contest you've got until september 8th to to you know put in a video go ahead and subscribe to him check out grown man record night and Thanks a lot for the contest, and uh, good luck to all the entries, and thanks a lot. I'll be back. Rock on and rock hard.